Hello, little internet gremlins who watch my videos. <laughs> Today, we are in bed together. I'm sure this is some of you guys' wildest dream come true. I don't know, I was feeling a really relaxed and comfy vibe for listening to Room Under the Stairs for the first time, which is what we are reacting to today, of course. And I was like, let me somehow figure out how to set up my camera so I can just lay in bed with a blanket and listen to this album and just have a good time. So that was the vibe I curated for this listening party that we're having, me and you. But yeah, we're listening to Room Under the Stairs today. I've been harassed, I've been attacked. Everyone's in my DMs asking me where this video is and here it is, you guys, I'm sorry. There was something else I was gonna say about Room Under the Stairs. Oh yeah, getting back into this, the topic of Zane. Um, I am factually an Icarus Falls girl to my core. Like that is my favorite Zane album. I think some of his best songs are on that album. I would say for me, it's Icarus Falls and then Nobody is Listening and then Mind of Mine. Not that I don't like Mind of Mine, don't come for me. Mind of Mine girls, I see you and I respect you and I love her. I just have a special thing going on with Icarus Falls and Nobody's Listening is too good for me to even pretend it's not his second best album. So so that might help give you a little bit of an idea of what I prefer when it comes to Zayn's sound. I just, I don't know, those are just the way the albums fall for me. And I've been so excited and curious to listen to his new album just because of all the things that he said about it. You guys know he's been so active doing promo and appearances and even shows in ways that he just has not during his other album eras. So it's really fun and refreshing to see him being so public and open and I hope that he feels happy and comfortable with that decision and yeah Zane has just been saying a lot of things about this album and how different it is for him and how experimental he was with it and drawing influences from lots of other places that he maybe hasn't before and I love the singles that he released for this album Alienated is my absolute favorite Oh my god. You can watch my Nobody Is Listening reaction, by the way. I did react to that album. It feels like so long ago I did that reaction, though. Okay, it's time to bring the headphones out. I have no idea what I'm about to get myself into. Are we gonna sit in this bed and cry our eyes out together? Are we gonna sit in this bed and pop our pussies? Are we gonna be horny? Like, there's so many things on the table. Okay, so first up, we are gonna listen to Dreamin', which reminds me of the girl group I manage because they have a song called Dreamin', spelled this way too. Opening track, let's get into it. One, two, three, go. Let me meet. Hold on. I'm sorry. I know I didn't let him talk. I know I didn't let him speak, but I'm already floored. I love <laughs> the counting. That's so already so new and different. And I just made a playlist. I literally just made a playlist like three days ago. I'm talking on Spotify. It's called five, six, seven, eight with an exclamation point. And it's just a playlist full of songs that start with someone counting. Like it's got Girl I've Always Been by Love Olivia Rodrigo. It's got Midnight Memories by One Direction, All This Time by Louis Tomlinson, Hot To Go by Chapel Road, like the five, six. <laughs> now I have another song for that playlist. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, sorry for the interruption. Let's see the lyrics. This vibe, by the way, like this smooth, like jazzy guitar. Oh. That subtle harmony. Oh, I already love this. Wow. I love this. It suits him so well, like in ways that I never imagined. It sounds really good.
Oh my god, this is so... Like, why go to church? Why go to church? I don't... This is like... Those backing vocals! Wow, that one's getting a like. Okay, if you don't know, when I do my album reactions, I like them on Spotify when they're really, really good so I can pick my faves at the end a little bit easier. That was so good. I hope, like I haven't heard the rest of it yet, obviously, so I don't know, but I hope that just like perfectly set the tone for the rest of this because when you describe your album as experimental or you describe your album as different from something you've done before, you kind of have to prove it. You know what I mean? And this alone already does. Like this alone makes everything that he said about this album and the way that he styled it makes so much sense. Like, okay, ladies, we're skipping over what I am because it was a single. We already know her. We already love her. We already adore her. So we're going to go straight to Grateful. Oh my god, the Spotify canvas for this. So gorgeous. I see your mother shine in your eye. Oh, and I cry. Telling you the things that are on my mind when I think of you. Oh yeah. I'm grateful for you. Loving when the Okay, lyricists. That's crazy. You feel like I'm finding new addiction and it feels good. Imagine saying that about someone like when I'm telling this story is complicated. Ooh, I just that some mishaps You hear that backing bass? Feels wasteful to be hateful. I'll be grateful for what I got. What a man. What a man. I love, love, love this flow, like this melody. I cannot stop imagining this part specifically being sang by a crowd on tour. Like, it's perfect. What? I think that one's also gonna get a like. Is this gonna be another hit me hard and soft situation where it's like we get to the end and the whole fucking album has likes because it's that good? That one was also really good. And I'm already pulling together, like just the first, knowing the first three songs or having heard the first three songs, dreaming what I am and grateful, they pull together a vibe so beautifully. They match each other so beautifully. Ah! Zane, they don't know you like I do. They don't understand this like I do, okay? Like, this is just skipping to my woman because uh, we know and love and cherish Alienated forever and ever and ever. Alienated was probably my favorite pre-album single that he released. Love me, probably leave me tonight. Sit on for that, I don't know what that instrument is in the background. But that almost church piano. Let my mind is wrong with it tonight. Very cool. Since the stone age. What? I'm stone age. Living lonely. Ooh. Oh. I'm finished wasting my time. Those lines. 
This is my demise. My demise is what's holding me. Grab the hold and took control of me. Oh. In my mind. He's taking it. <laughs> This is his voice, like the things he can do with it. Like he sounds so good. His lyricism is also so underrated. Like these songs have all been so well written. He is so good. He is so good. He is so good. He is so good. So like, this is also making me wonder, like, my brain is just, I am just at a loss for words. Don't you just wish that Zayn had a competent team that really, really cared about his career and pushed him out as much as possible? They've been doing a much better job this time around, but I just need everyone in the world to hear this. I just need everyone in the world to get behind this, and I don't think they understand. Anyway, next up we have How It Feels. I've been getting old standing by the river. Again with this voice and this vibe. Oh my god. Watch the water move, but I don't move with her. Shivers down my spine. Never forget to remind me I'm alive. Till I let go of this moment. Oh. Something holding me to this place. I've been breaking, always faking. I'm just lying to your face. And I can tell you how it feels. Never forget to remind me I'm alive. Wow. Till I let go of this moment. Something holding me to this place. When Zane ballads, he ballads, babe. But you insisted on staying and breaking my heart. Breaking my heart. I let go of this moment. Something holding me to this place. I literally feel like there's a golf ball in my throat right now. And I can't fucking breathe. Zane has the perfect voice for songs like that where he's singing about something so just broken. And he's just wailing about it. Perfect, perfect voice for that. These songs are so short, by the way. What is going on with that? Maybe I was spoiled because when I listened to Billy's album, her songs were super long for some reason. Like she had a shorter album with longer songs, but now this is a longer album with shorter songs. Still amazing. Still a 10 out of 10. I have not listened to something I didn't enjoy yet because he's allergic to failing. He's allergic to missing. Um, so that's just not going to happen. Okay, next up we have Stardust. What is with him in copying my PMX girl. They have a song called Stardust Girl and they have a song called Dream In. Oh! Pretty Christmas on a cardboard cup. I was not expecting this! So into this already. Produce so much. If 
Zayn is gonna do one thing, it's harmonize with himself, like, every chance he gets. And it works, so I'm not mad. Wow, does you make anywhere at all feel like Stardust. You guys gotta make cute edits to this on TikTok, come on now. Get your fucking ass up and work. So gorgeous. What a little cutie. What a cutie songy. I'm gonna have to give that one a like. It was too catchy and cute and fun for me to not give it a like. Feels like stardust. I meant what I said. I need the edit. Okay, next up is Gates of Hell, which I have seen personally many times. Oh my god, this guitar immediately. So fucked I can feel my feet. <laughs> what a way to open a song. No couple people might call me a disgrace. But fuck them, I ain't looking up. Ain't ever been one to give a second look. I don't like you very much. <laughs> oh my god. But I keep putting up with your shit. I don't like you very much. This is Zane's poison poison. <laughs> if you get it, you get it. This fucking beat. And I wanna float on this way. If you've been living in. Wow. You always come to mind. I, I don't like you very much. <laughs> My camera stopped recording right when that ended, but the end jarred me. The way that it just ended, I kind of loved that. This album is like, a, I don't know, jaw on the floor. Like, I don't even... It, it, truly is i love it when an artist is like oh i'm experimenting like this is gonna be a little different for me and then it actually is like this is actually different for him and it's so good so so good he's exploring this genre that you would never be like oh zane could do this but he can and it sounds amazing i'm having so much fun with it next up we have birds on a cloud so I love this. I don't feel the same as I did last night. She faced not knowing which way is up or down or sideways. I'm frowning anyway. Please give me one more day of happiness. I need it. I need it. Oh my god, men whimpering and begging. Like, come on now. Yeah, you, I heard men that moan and whimper. Bitches are gonna love this. Wake up and bake up again is so me core. He gets it. Something's wrong, but something inside tells me it's all okay. I need it, I need it. Please give me one more day of happiness. I need it, I need it. When I think of things, me jamming out to Saint's misery. Jesus. 
Jesus. That's another one of those ones that's like, this is going to be stuck in my head. The I need it. I need it. Next up is called Concrete Kisses, which is super interesting, like name for a song wise. I imagine like it reminds me of like falling or being bruised. So it might be a song about hurt, <laughs> but who knows? All I wanted was a cup of coffee. So real, me too. I got something else to so it seems. Concrete kisses on my face in full. From where I fell last night on the street. What did I say? I told you. Concrete kisses. It makes sense, when okay? See, it's a metaphor. I told you. See, I knew it. I really like this one. Super mellow but groovy still. Beginnings have a habit of ending. I'm stuck here in between. I'm my way on the highway. This year, popping my brain like drunk blood. Feeling this way, there's no such thing as happiness. Wow. on my face, my heart changed. Outro, hmm? This is a really nice touch though. Like if you got the voice, show it off. Super, super good. See, I knew I had faith in Concrete Kisses the second I saw her and I just knew what she was about and I knew in my brain that we'd be connected. I'm having so much fun listening to this album. Like it's just so chill and mellow. So much guitar on this album. So much like even more so than he has had on his past projects. And it just pulls together so, such a vibe. Like I want to be outside in a hammock with my eyes closed laying in the sun listening to this album. That's what it feels like to me. Okay, next up, False Starts. Fast car, fast heart, trouble in my brain. Big dreams, false starts, and I know I've changed. Don't want the things we can't have. Watching my life just roll past. Oh, no, no, pain. What? Sad thoughts, bad love, with no one to blame. The music in this one, like the backing, it was giving me a little folky country in the beginning. That one's getting a like, no doubt about it. I loved. This album was so worth the wait. Like, these songs are so good. I'm having the best time ever. Next up is The Time. Yesterday just came in away. 
all of these songs live like they're just so all of them are just so powerful like he just does so much with his voice and it's so moving in a way that I really want to experience live like I don't think I've ever seen another artist like Zane live so I feel like I don't know just the way it would affect me I would probably get like goosebumps and just be like oh my god this is a religious experience like I said so 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 incredibly good I'm so happy next up is something in the water okay boys world must be something in the water Ooh. I can feel you in the atmosphere Don't say much until we speak in tongues One on one Sway you flowing through my blood Must okay. be something in the water Am I going out my mind? Said it was the last last I'm sorry, what? <laughs> it scared the fuck out of me woke up last night. Water <laughs> Oh, I love this. This one might be my favorite on the album. I'm so sorry. got much more of that groovy R&B Zane vibe that I feel like people in the public would just love if they gave him a chance. Come on. Before it even ends, I'm putting this on my liked playlist. So good. That might be one of the best songs on this album, which I know y'all are gonna say, oh, of course the R&B one you say is the best one after all the other ones are so experimental. No, it's not that. It's just a really, really good groovy, catchy song. Okay, it's not my fault that he sounds so good and he's so talented and it flows so freaking well. The other songs in this album are also amazing, but that one just really stood out. That was so, so good. All right, next is Shoot at Will. Just a good drag, going at a drag. When you feel like history's pulling you back. Yeah, I've been running bad feet in a field. Yeah, and dreams gone bad Cause it feels like history is pulling me back I stayed at the bar late and had a good time Cause I had some bullshit up on my mind Roll with the time And I praise you Do you not prefer the truth? Oh wow. I've been running bad feet in a field, yeah, and dreams gone bad. Cause it feels like history is 
pulling me back If you want, you can take it all I oh my don't God. I can give no more Shoot at will Because she shoots to kill Wow, oh my God. Why would he say that? That was like crazy. That was a crazy song. Those were crazy lyrics. Like, oh my God, I don't want to listen to the last song on this album. I'm having such a good time with the album. I'll probably just re-listen to it, honestly. I'll probably just play it again. Like I said, on a hammock in the sun. That's where I feel like being right now. Let's hope that Fuchsia C gives me everything. I'm tired of the gray. Oh my god, this the harmony? I'm sick of the gray. I gotta love this feeling. Whoa. To keep myself from dreaming about so this voice. Everybody cheered and clapped. Everyone stood on their feet and gave him a 30 minute long standing ovation, whooping and cheering and whistling and hollering. That's how it feels. That's how it feels. Like I'm so, there was not a single skip on that album. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, that's just the first listen impression. It might change later down the road. You know how I am. Just a first listen. But on a first listen basis, like which one of those songs was a skip? I don't, it, there just wasn't one. They were all so good in their own right but so many of them also stuck out oh my god what a project what a body of work no wonder they work so hard to get him out there for this album because you bitches need to listen <laughs> oh my god he is just so so good i'm so impressed and i'm very very happy that this album sounds exactly like he said it was going to the different influences and styles that he drew out for this absolutely amazing i love that he still kept like a touch of what he did before especially with like something in the water that that very smooth R&B kind of thing was so him while the rest of it was also just while well, the rest of it was just so new so guitar-y a little teensy bit folky bluegrassy jazzy like oh my god <laughs> I have no idea where this is gonna fall in my ranking but it might be I don't know I don't think it's gonna be Icar well I don't know honestly I can't even say it is just so so good and I have so many of these tracks liked ones that really stuck out dreaming even the opening track stuck out so much grateful literally amazing I loved something in the water concrete kisses you saw I loved love loved I'm so excited to learn these songs and play them over and over again. I always say this, but it's true because it's just so good. Thank you guys so much for watching my Room Under the Stairs reaction. I know you've been waiting so patiently, so 
Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Comment down below and let me know what you think of the album. Let me know where it falls in your Zane ranking. What are your favorite songs? Do you think there's any skips? I want to hear it all. I love talking to you guys about albums when they first come out. So go comment and let me know. And while you're down there, go check out the form I have in my description for video requests. Now that I'm done with my little reaction bender because there was all these albums coming out, I'm going to get back to doing regular commentary. So let me know what you want me to cover. And also while you're down there, check out my social medias. Don't forget, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, active on TikTok, all the good things. Come chat it up with me. I love hearing from you. So I hope you're all doing absolutely amazing streaming room under the stairs and drinking your water. And I will see you guys in my next video. Mm -hmm.